Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus pilot and well, we've just been activated from standby. What well, looks like a lovely CRJ broke down and we are supposed to fly this A320 from Munich over to Stuttgart with a load of 97 passengers. That does promise to become quite an interesting flight though, with such little passengers and such a short route, so we are going to operate at a very low growth weight today, which makes things interesting. What makes things even more interesting though is the fact that the airplane just came out of the maintenance hangar and has received a brand new update. The Phoenix version 407 is now available and it adds amongst others a more optimized performance of the external engine modeling and a couple of new configuration options. So that does look rather good. So amongst others it also promises to fix the incorrect TCAS target altitudes being shown on the navigation display when flying online. So that does promise to become quite interesting to fly this one, so we are going to take it out for a ride today. Now, one of the downsides of the updates though is that they have once again done art optimizations and therefore liveries need to be updated in the livery manager and not just there but all of the external artists creating liveries for the likes of flightsim.to also need to update their liveries so we gotta hope that that is going to happen soon. In the meantime though, A320 CFM Munich to Stuttgart at a very light gross weight on Watsim with right now full ATC coverage. So follow me inside as we are going to start our setup. So once again beautiful cabin art design here from Atarium on the Lufthansa livery. I really love it. I really really love it. He's doing a great job on all his liveries. Okay then for us though let's take a seat on the captain's seat and we're going to start powering it up. So since I I'm doing a separate complete tutorial series. I'm not going to explain just about everything I do in here, but much rather I'm going to focus on the important things and will do the remaining procedures in the meantime in the background. Okay, so let's go ahead and update the TOBT over here. We're looking at 1730 UTC. Like that. Okay, update that. And then let's quickly go ahead and have a look at our flight plan. So our alternate is going to be Munich today, so it's literally just the two airports we need to check. And if you have a look at Stuttgart, overall it's looking quite good. A couple of CBs in the forecast with a probability of 40%, apart from that good weather. And if you go down to Munich, well, a little bit of gusts, but straight down the runway. So again, nothing that we really need to worry about. With that in mind, let's have a look at our fuel load. And they do say 3600 plus 200, so 3.8 is our minimum fuel. And I would say, well, having a 3 at the beginning looks kind of weird, so if we just make that 4,000 kilos, I think that's going to make me personally a little bit more happy. Okay, so for the fuel amount then, let's go with 4,000 kilograms, apply and load, and we're going to use GSX for that. Okay, so with that now done, the airplane itself has already powered up. Awesome, so let's continue with our setup. APU fire test works, and I tell you what, it's uh, time to warm that cabin up. So APU is going to be started straight away. And then off we go. ADR 1, 2, and 3 going in a nav. The lights are basically good the way they are right now, even though we might have to turn them up a little bit later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and initialize that ACAS and see what we are going to get over here. So, in a data request. And we did already receive a preliminary load sheet. Let's track that real quick. Munich, Stuttgart, Zulu, Mike, 2 and 4. Yes, Zulu, Mike is incorrect. That would, by the way, be a really big point there if we found something like that incorrect. So that would not be acceptable in the real world. For the simulation, though, we are going to accept that for now. Okay, zero fuel weight. Takeoff fuel is looking good. That is looking good. 97 passengers planned. 100% portable water. And fuel in tank, 4,000. Okay, we can accept that. Okay, then, that's good. So let's go ahead and request the latest weather of uh, Munich over here. Send that out and then let's see what we are going to get. And here we go. 
Okay, so just a thing in the meantime here, let's go ahead and use the airline settings. Perfect, they're starting the boarding already. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead and arm those. We'll do the rest later. Refueling still in progress. Okay, so preliminary performance data then. So Munich 26 right dry, we'll synchronize the load sheet. Let's just calculate a bit more, yes? 75 point, or 57.5, that way around. And that is looking good. Okay, intersection, we'll calculate alpha 12. Flaps 3. No, my friend, just no. Okay, 1 plus F, recalculate. Okay, that is looking good. Perfect, so we know we can depart. Okay then, so oxygen pressure is good, hydraulic quantities are good, engine oil quantities are good, flaps up and in agreement, spoil is disarmed and the park and brake, let's give that a try, is working. Okay, awesome, so brake temperature is cool, so we don't need to worry about any of that. Okay, I'd call that good, so let's head out for the walk around and have a look at our aircraft. So they did say they did some art updates. They did say in the change clock to where exactly, but I suppose then we just see if we can find out ourselves. Overall, again, very good Phoenix quality of uh, modeling over here. Probably the best we have in the simulator at this very moment. And honestly, it just looks very, very good in uh, these lighting conditions, does it? I really like the looks of this model. It, just co it did cost me quite some performance when it came out, but luckily that is soon going to be a thing of the past. Okay, so... Cargo door? Is it going to come out eventually? Or did they not pump... Did they not um, use the hand pump? Interesting to see the cargo door hanging here like that. It will be interesting to see if that is eventually going to open or not. First time I see this in the Phoenix, that's for sure. Okay, so the fan is looking good. There is no visible sign of any damage down here. And if we have a look at the leading edge of the wing, everything seems good as well. Once again, I forgot to um, turn on the lights, but well, beep happens. Oh, interesting. Why did it get so quiet? Okay, this is interesting. The baggage is arriving now, but the doors have still not been opened. I have a feeling we just manually need to pressurize the hydraulics in order to get them to work. I mean, they have the instructions right over here, if only they would read them. By the way, this is superb modeling and texturing over here, isn't it? That looks really good, if you ask me. Okay, so, airplane itself is in a good shape on this side. Let's start on the other, then. But those sounds are a little bit strange, aren't they? Like, sometimes you have really loud noises. Like now, and then on the other side, you look into the other direction. Like now, and all of a sudden you hear nothing again. That's really strange. That doesn't seem right, if you ask me. Okay, the wing is good. The um, leading edge is good. Quick look from below the engine. Everything closed. And the front is looking good as well. Alright, with that, I'd say we've got a good airplane. So let's head right back inside. And over here we can start our procedures. Fueling is done, we saw that. Okay, ELEC. Yep, batteries are charging just fine. By the way, this is roughly the speed at which you would do things in the cockpit as well. Rather fast, I do know that, but, um, well, I want to show you how it looks like to really fly these aircraft, right? For the tutorials, I did make them separately. 
Okay, so down here, what's left? This good stuff, this good stuff. Squawk, we can set 2000 in here, like that. Very good. Okay, so then let's go on to the FMS. A32200, CFM56, current database, and we can uplink the flight plan. A flight number is going to be Lufthansa 2 Foxtrot Juliet. Here we go, cost index 20 and cruising in flight level 180. Okay, active flight plan uplink, yes, thank you. Okay, so flight plan, Munich, departure, 26 right. And then let's have a quick look into what we are going to do today. So, Rida 6 November departure. Let's give that a go. Down here it is. Enter. And for Stuttgart, it's going to be an ILS approach runway 25. And the arrival is going to be a taxi one whiskey. Might also turn out the taxi transition. We will have to see about that. But let's just take the taxi one whiskey for now. And then just see where that ends. Right on the final. Okay, awesome. Very good. So, let's just about find those charts real quick. So, Munich, departure, and we are looking for the Rida 6 November ANAF chart. Here it is. Perfect. Okay, so, Rida 6 November 1900, Mike November Echo, maximum 220 knots, and that is exactly what we have. And then we continue via 061 above level 70062, maximum 250 knots, and then on to Rida. And that's what we have. Awesome. Okay, so then we are looking for Munich X, what's that, um, 4? And that's EDDM26 right slash 261 slash 25. Okay, store that, and looks like it's still not doing it quite right. No, it still breaks the entire flight plan when I try to insert it realistically. Well, in that case, we just gotta help ourselves like this. And this now works completely fine. Okay, so 261, insert, and new destination Munich for the immediate return if we need it. For an ILS approach onto runway 26 right, like that. Okay, so that is looking just about fine. Then let's enter the same thing on the fixed info page. Here we go, 261 and Munich Emergency 4. Here we go, that's good. Okay, so in the Ratnav we need Mike November Echo, and that's about it. So I'm going to take it active over here on the ADF. Okay, so Munich 26 right, going right into here. And then for the load sheet, do we have a preliminary one already? Yes. Awesome, okay, so 53.3. And then we've got 0 fuel weight 30.8 forecast. Like that, 4,000 kilos of fuel. And then for our um, fuel reserves and for the figures, 0 0.3, 1.31. Okay, so 0 0.3, 1.3. And one is correct, so gives us 100 kilos extra. Well, not not the world, but just about fine. Okay, so flaps config one. Let's see, um, 50 degrees. Like that, and for the speeds we take 1935.35. So 19.35 and 35. So, the reduction and acceleration are not correct here. Should be noise abatement procedure number 2, and the engine out acceleration in 3000 is correct. Okay, um, we don't need to pre-select anything since we have 220 in there already. So let's just see if they fixed the um, pilot routes. No, that is still incorrect. Um, 
you can see you should have the entire flight plan in here, like runway 26 right, Rita 6 November departure, Lima 173 Dodil, and then there are a couple more airways on there that you should see. Like here, Tango 127 Taxi and then Taxi 1 Whiskey. You should have all that in here in order to make it very easy to check that the route you loaded is actually correct, but looks like they still haven't fixed that. Okay, though. So be it. Then the last thing is 1200 meters takeoff shift. Here we go. Okay, awesome. So we looked at everything. We've already checked everything as well. Then comes the FCU. 7000. And QNH 1005. Like that should be good. Okay then, shall we go for the briefing? Yes. Your turn. Munich, take off 26 right, Alpha 12 intersection. Um, Rida 6 November departure, climbing level 70, MSA 4, uh, correction 3700, extra fuel 3 minutes. Alright, I don't have any hotspots for the taxi. Stop margin reject to take off is 1000 meters. Engine outsets straight out 25 miles, climbing 4000. For an immediate return, Munich is the best option. ILS 26 right is pre-selected on the secondary flight plan. In terms of special or non-standard operations, I don't really have anything. So do you see any threats for this departure? No? No threats? Okay, perfect. Then, let's go for the cockpit preparation checklist, please. Gear pins and covers removed. Fuel quantity 3980 kilogram balanced. Seatbelts on. ADRs. NAV and bow ref. QNH 1005. Cockpit preparation checklist complete. Okay then. Well, let's go for our departure clearance. So, ATC request. Departure clearance. Gate number is 321, station Echo Delta Delta Mike. We'll send them a Zervos. And for the ATIS ID, which one do we have there? Let's see, Foxtrot. So, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet, Munich Stuttgart, Gate 321, Info Foxtrot, Zervos A320, Munich. Jawohl. Send. Okay, so that stuff is now out. Let's go ahead and um, start preparing our plane for pushback. And we have received a company message. Pre-departure clearance. Request received. Stand by. Okay, we'll do that. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just open it up on the right hand side there. Okay, so ATC message. Request received being processed, stand by. Okay, close. And here it is. So PTC number 9, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet, clear to Stuttgart, off 26 left, Rida 6 Sierra. Okay, so we just gotta change everything around again. Lovely. Why is it 26 left though? Really have no idea. But if they want it, we'll do it. Check takeoff data. We'll do. Okay, so Rita 6 Sierra confirms Quark 1000. Okay. Next frequency 12173, Aedis Foxtrot. Send. Okay, so we just gotta check our set again and do the takeoff calculations. So, 26 left, view data, Bravo 12, calculate, flaps 1, 56, 19, 35, 35. So we've got flaps 1, then it's 56, and the rest we can confirm. Okay, and even the takeoff shift is the same. Well, that makes life easy. Okay, so, do you want to rebrief anything? Suppose at least the emergencies. So, pilot waypoint, new, and this one is going to be Munich X3. 
and that is Munich 26 left slash 261 slash 25. Going to store that, copy the active, and then it's going to be Munich X3 this time. Insert holding 261. And on the fixed page, it's also going to be 26 left with a course of 261 and um, Munich X3. Okay, looking good. Okay, and CDA received, clearance confirmed. Thank you. All right, awesome. So we're set up. Um, let's see, there's basically no change. Um, just a quick look on the chart. So now we're looking at Delta Mike 052, maximum 220. Which is what we have. Delta Mike 053 above 70, 054, maximum 250. Which is pretty much this. And then on towards Rida. Okay, and there is a discontinuity in here, but yeah, we can clear that. That does not look significant. Okay, awesome. So now all we're missing is the uh, final load sheet. But let's see, I'll quickly say hello to our passengers and then we'll see what's going to happen. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, einen schönen guten Abend an Bord dieses Lufthansa Fluges 2146 nach Stuttgart. Mein Name ist Emanuel, ich bin heute Ihr Kapitän. Zusammen mit mir im Cockpit sind eine Menge wunderbarer co die den Flug heute zusammen mit uns durchführen werden. Flugzeit 25 Minuten, rechnen mit einem ruhigen Flug in 18.000 Fuß oder circa 5.000 Metern Fluge. Wir bedanken uns herzlich, dass Sie heute unsere Gäste sind. Lehnen Sie sich zurück und genießen den Flug mit uns. Und wenn es etwas gibt, womit wir Ihnen diesen schöner gestalten können, zögern Sie nicht, sich an unsere Flugbegleiter zu wenden. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon from the flight deck. This is your captain speaking. My name is Emanuel. In the name of Lufthansa, you're all very warm welcome aboard our flight 2146 leading towards Stuttgart. Flight time 25 minutes. We expect a smooth ride at 18,000 feet. Sit back, relax, and draw the flight with us. If there is anything we can do for you to make it more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask any of our charming cabin crew. Okay, so they are dealt with. So we're just waiting for the load sheet now, and then we should be good to go. By the way, talk about waiting for the load sheet. Did the ground crew manage to solve? No. All the baggage still standing there. That is lovely. At least that explains why we didn't get the load sheet. So what happens if we just turn on the hydraulic electric pump? Is that going to open the um, cargo doors? Let's have a look. No, they are just closed. Interesting. So something isn't working right here. Well, let's see. What if we open them manually? Ground service, forward cargo, aft cargo. Lovely animation, by the way. Really worth pointing that out. Okay, well, if they only start loading the cargo now, then uh, that is definitely going to take a little while. Maybe some five minutes or so. But then it's interesting. The pushback tack went away, together with the external power, when I uh, flicked on the beacon for a second. But the rest of it, apparently, is uh, still just working normally. Okay, well, so be it. At least hurry up, my friends, now. By the way, what's that guy in the back doing there? Did you see him jump up and down? That's interesting. That certainly is interesting. Okay. Well, so once again, we've been completely ready, and now it's down to the ground crew, who are delayed. But, anyway, let's not worry about that too much. We'll take a bit of the time we have available now to explore some, some of the new settings, that apparently became um, inserted with the plane. So, let's have a look at a little of the stuff over here. So, we can change the thrust reduction height and acceleration height separately now. 
So we want a thousand and a thousand in the engine out acceleration at 1500. That's correct for Lufthansa. Dual advisory ice detection is also correct. Yellow hydraulic steering, okay. No FLS, no TCAS autopilot, no automatic nothing go around. That's one of the biggest things you got to think of when you're flying a Lufthansa plane. When you go around, they're just going to go to go around track over here. And in order for them to actually track the missed approach, you got to press that heading button in to um, follow the missed approach routing. Apart from that, if we're going over this, let's turn that stuff on. Gonna link the left and the right. And we can just about save that as default here. Okay, radio altimeter callouts looking good. Units looking good. GSX. It's pretty much completely set up here, so nothing to worry about. And cabinet announcements are set to auto as well. Okay, well, that's looking good in terms of um, what's available there now. So then, I do suggest we are going to make another quick, um, well, actually looking into the changelog, it says fixed AOC weather request requiring return to be pressed twice. We are going to try that out. We're immediately going to try that out because that was an issue that I complained about quite a bit. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Weather requests. Let's take the updated weather from Munich over here. I want a meta. Send. Okay, previously I needed to press return twice. Now let me press it. Works. Nice. That's very good. Okay then. So, um... Tell you what, I'm quickly going to, uh, to talk to the passengers one more time about the slight delay we have here. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren aus dem Cockpit, noch einmal der Kapitän. Ähm, der Flughafen hat leider vergessen, dass man Fracht auch laden muss. Und weil man das an einem Flughafen ja nur sehr, sehr selten macht, müssen wir es jetzt noch nachholen, weshalb wir ihr Gepäck jetzt noch in das Flugzeug verladen. Das wird jetzt einige Minuten dauern und dann werden wir uns auf den Weg in Richtung Stuttgart machen. Wir entschuldigen uns für die Unannehmlichkeiten und versuchen dennoch unser Bestes, sie so pünktlich wie möglich nach Stuttgart zu bringen. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Unfortunately, the airport only now noticed that luggage doesn't just have to be brought to the aircraft, but actually loaded inside it so that you can collect it at your destination. Therefore, they have just started this process now and it is going to take a few minutes. We apologize for the inconveniences caused, but we promise that we are going to bring it to Stuttgart as quickly as possible. Thank you for your attention. And this, my friends, is a PA in exactly the style how I would do it in the real world as well. Because things like these do happen, unfortunately, every now and then. And, uh, well, you can guess what the results look like. But they're done in the front over here. Judging by the shadow, yep, the art one is moving away as well. So we should be ready to go in a few moments. Aircraft loaded, looking good. The guy with the pin is also coming. And we do have a company message. Very good. Weather and load sheet. QNH now 1006. And that is cross checked. Then let's have a look at the load sheet. So it's in compliance with edition number one for the Zulu mic still. 53.2 and 57.0. Well, let's have a look at that. So 53.2 and the CG is 32.7. And then 31.6. Okay, so we'll accept that. Oh, lovely. I kind of thought it would have saved the scratchpad text, but that's alright. We'll just do it again. So, 53.2 slash 32.7. Okay, that's 57.0. And that's 57.0 as well. 31.6, so that is roughly down here. So looking at a down trim of about 0.6. Something like that. Okay. Looking good. Looking awesome. Don't need that electric pump anymore. Just tell me they did close the doors. Yes, they did. Awesome. Okay, so we are seven minutes delayed now, but that is uh, completely in the realm of realism. 
So, as always, we just do everything in the spirit of full-blown realism. I love it when you can say that in the simulator in order to excuse your delays. Okay, so then, next frequency, they said uh, 12173, I believe. Recall empty consult message log. Oh, I hate it when the Airbus does that. But let's see, message record. 12173, yeah. München Airplane, hallo, Lufthansa 2, Foxford Juliet with PDC, request push and start. No answer. Let me see that again. What's that frequency? 12173. That's what we have. But that isn't online. It's 12171 and 12178. Well, then we gotta try good luck. We'll try. München April, hallo, Lufthansa 2, Foxtrot, Juliet. Request pushback and startup. No? Lufthansa 2, Foxtrot, Juliet, München April, Sievus. Uh, push big approve facing north, blue line, departure runway 26 left. Lufthansa 2 Fox Road Julia, push back approve facing north, blue line from 26 left. Okay, that's awesome. Lufthansa 5 Uniform. So, Yankee facing Yankee north, Echo 3 blue. Lufthansa 5 Uniform, Yankee push back approved facing north, sounds good. Okay push then. Round from cockpit, go ahead. So, pushback approved, face north onto the blue line. Park and brake set. Again, um, release brakes, 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 please. Lufthansa 5 uniform, Yankee. Brake released. Lufthansa 5 uniform, Yankee, push Roger, brake release, start and push. Stand by for engine start, please. Squawk, Charlie. Roger. And the B4 start checklist. Park and brake, uh, released. Take off speed and thrust. 119, 135, flex 56. Yankee. Windows. Closed. Beacon. On. B4 start checklist complete. <laughs> Okay. Squawk now, uh, 1000 Lufthansa 5 uniform, Yankee. Yep, perfect. Naples, Lufthansa 6, Papa Kilo, hallo. Uh, send 2 on 3, request push. So, beautiful, we are on the way. It just took ages. Six, Papa Kilo, Mitchell, Naples, they will push back approved, facing north on the orange line. Okay, so clear of the gate. Okay, cockpit, you're clear to start your engines. Roger, starting in sequence 2, then 1. Engine 2 start. And while I see it, let's go pack flow low, because with so little passengers on board, we really don't need to waste um, all that air by using high flow. Okay, so engine is starting up now. Pushback complete, please set park and brake. Park brake set, remove ground equipment and stand by for engine start. Starting engine number one. Okay. Engine one start. So it's going to, in, going to be interesting to see where they are going to taxi us, probably all the way around here, and then southbound, and well, we'll be able for Bravo 12 intersection down here. Lufthansa 2, Whiskey Tango, Whiskey Tango, Mention, April, Gear, Evening, Information Golf, Startup approved, cleared Frankfurt, 
Give me one November departure, flat plant route. Flat okay, plant ground, we've got two good starts. You're clear to disconnect. Show me the signal on the right side, please, with the pin. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. Look at that animation over there. Certainly room for improvement. Now that's new. In order to... As soon as I click on the flap lever, it raises the um, lower part of the lever. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Information Golf, startup approved, clear to Stuttgart. Rida 6 Sierra departure, flight plan route, climb by... Okay then, so where is our handling agent? There he is, and the signal is seen. Awesome. Out of thought checklist, please. Anti ice, off, ecom status checked, pitch trim, 30. 1.6%, rudder trim neutral, after thought checklist complete. Okay, flight control track. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. And the rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Okay, awesome. Okay. Six to five confirm input to November departure. <sighs> Why do IFR clearances always take so long on Watson? They go so quick in the real world. Six to five, flip it correct. Lufthansa two Fox Watch Juliet request taxi. Ah, they're right. Ja, auf den Wallace X Alpha, sorry, <lacht> voll vergessen, tut mir leid. Uh, Contact Tower 120, das war 505, die Tower CS. That's gonna be relevant for us as well. Lufthansa 2 Fox Dot Juliet, request taxi. Lufthansa 2 Fox Dot Juliet. Um, jetzt eine kleine Flughafenrundfahrt, nicht wundern. Taxi via Echo 3 Blue Line, Delta 6 Orange Line, hold short of Echo 2. Echo 2 Blue Line, Delta 6 Orange, and hold short Echo 2. Ist das richtig so? Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet. Yeah, almost, of the Fox Juliet, hold short of Echo 2, also for Echo 2 on Ja gut, wenn ich was anderes gesagt hatte, sorry, uh, hold short of Echo 2, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet. <sighs> Lufthansa 5 Uniform Yankee, request taxi. Okay. Lufthansa 5 Uniform Yankee, swing over so, let's Echo go. 2, there after taxi, to entry November 4 via Echo 2. Break check. Pressure zero. So we go out of here, then onto the orange line and hold shot off here. München Servus, Lufthansa 2 Alpha Papa, entry November 3. Lufthansa 2 Alpha Papa, München, I brand good evening. Taxi by Whiskey 2, hold short of Delta 2. Taxi Whiskey 2, hold short Delta 2, Lufthansa 2 Alpha Papa. So Delta 6 Orange is the first one. Alpha Papa, continue taxi to gate 220 Bravo via Whiskey 2. Okay, and we got a whole trot in front over here. I don't get why they just say whole trot entry November 5 instead, but well, in that case, we just continue. So 747 is coming from the left. Where is the whole trot line if there is any? Munich ground, hello, Lufthansa 23 at gate 313 requesting IFR clearance to... No, 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 give us taxi first, Frankfurt please. Frankfurt with you, information golf. Lufthansa 23, München, uh, April, good evening, stand by, I call you back. Okay. Yankee, Here's the whole trot line. It would have been pretty tight with the 747. But that looks just beautiful, doesn't it? Tower on 118, Smith 750, Lufthansa 5, uniform, Yankee. Negative, it's 118, decimal 705. 118705, Lufthansa 5 uniform, Yankee. Lufthansa 2, Foxtrot Juliet, uh, taxi to entry Sierra 8 via Echo 2. Sierra 8 via Echo 2, Lufthansa 2, Foxtrot Juliet. Lufthansa 2, 3, uh, what is your aircraft type? Okay, so, 
Off to the left then. So that guy is clear of us, we go off to the left here. You can grant, good evening, speedbird 115, type A320 at stand 302 Bravo with information Golf. Request clearance to London South End, please. So that guy is clear of us. Mention delivery, correction mention, airplane, good evening, stand by, number two for clearance, I call back. Roger. Dr. Z2, three information, Golf, start up approved, cleared Frankfurt. Give me one November departure. Flight okay, um, in terms of changes for the takeoff briefing, it's just the uh, change of the runway, but everything basically stays as it is. We've got same speeds, um, same EO set, just a slightly higher flux now, and apart from that, no changes. Do you have anything? Hi, Emanuel in the machine room. Thank you. Taxi checklist. Flight controls checked. Flap setting conform plus F. Right on predictive wind shear on an auto. Two, two, engine start three, cell two. norm. Ecam memo take off okay. no blue. Taxi uh, checklist two, complete. It's, uh, give me one November departure. Ah, nobody got Flight this. It's correct seven, today. Zero, squawk two three two six. Now that probably means we're going to be behind these guys here. Departure flight level seven zero seven zero squad two three two six Lufthansa two three. Lufthansa two three, confirm please. Give me one in November. Sorry, I can't understand at the beginning. Give me one in November. And we gotta stop again. Wow. How bad can you be at giving an IFR clearance? To the or rather at receiving one. Das wird ja doch nichts. Lufthansa 2 Fox Jewel jetzt hier rein. 120505, ciao. 120505, Lufthansa 2 Fox Jewel jetzt, ciao. Ich mich nach Stichung auf 123, das ist nur 905, goodbye. Lufthansa 2059, Squawk Charlie, please. Squawk Watch 9, Lufthansa 2059. Tower Low, Lufthansa 2 Fox Jewel jetzt hier rein. Able Bravo 12, fully ready. Das ist goodbye. Tower Low, Lufthansa 2 Fox Hot Juliet, Sierra 8, Able Bravo 12, fully ready. Lufthansa 2 Fox Hot Juliet, Menschen Tower Low, Taxi Dolmen, 326 Left, Intersection Bravo 12, Fire Bravo 12. Geradeaus Bravo 12, Lufthansa 2 Fox Hot Juliet. 126, bravo. That was like... How difficult can you possibly make the clearance instead of just saying Taxi Bravo 1 2? So, where is that Condor? Oh, yeah. A couple of guys on final there. Let's see if we can cheat and see something. That's three aircraft! Is that a formation or something? So let's see what those three guys are going to do the next moment. Im Zweifel 128,03, da wird Ihnen auch geholfen. Bin ich heute in ein First Wings reingeflogen, ohne was zu wissen? Hier werden standardmäßig Frequenzen gekoppelt, das ist normal, dass da nicht alle Frequenzen auftauchen. Ich meine auch eher, dass die Piloten heute nichts hinkriegen. Das ist ein anderes Problem. <lacht> So I just asked them if we flew into a Vatsam First Wings event because there is so many pilots doing so stuff so wrong today that I'm really like, what's going on here? Lufthansa 
6 November Charlie Event 250 not somewhere to six right, clear to land. The next guy doesn't read his landing clearance back. That's just. That's not two Fox, thank you, Band. Next landing condo, at 20 land up on two six left behind. Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet, I guess. Behind the Condor lineup, 2 6 left behind. So, the departure chart is coming up, and then we just gotta find the Condor. Oh, yeah, that looks interesting there. That looks really interesting. Hello there. Yes, they're landing next through one another. Well, hi there, Condor. Suppose you're the interesting one. What's that guy doing? I guess I don't even want to know. In any case... Cabin crew, prepare for departure. Lineup checklist. Take off runway. 2-6 left, Bravo 1-2. Tikas. TARA, PAX 1 and 2. Off. Lineup checklist complete. From the Lufthansa Charlie 2 Whiskey established on ILS 260. Charlie 2 Whiskey? No, uh, that's Charlie not a valid call sign. I have a feeling this is noob day today. Lufthansa 2 2 2 Wind 2 4 0 3 1 8 0 2 6 right, cleared for takeoff. 2 6 right, cleared for takeoff, the front of the capital. Bilan 7 5 Tango line up on my 2 6 right. Uh, Romeo 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left on the 2 Fox or Juliet. Condor 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left on the 2 Fox or Juliet. Condor 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left on the 2 Fox or Juliet. Condor 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left on the 2 Fox or Juliet. Condor 26 left, clear for takeoff. Left on the 2 Fox or Juliet. Manfred 56, SS Rommel, A thrust blue. Thrust set? Uh, look to the 6 November Charlie, we go, uh, are going around. 6 November Charlie, good to know, I called you like 6 times for a landing clearance, follow me to the approach to see that's published. V1? Look to the 6 November Charlie, following the Nemesis approach. Rotate? Yeah, Positive climb, gear up. Now, check. Lufthansa 5, uniform Yankee, ready for departure. Lufthansa 5, uniform Yankee, line up on runway 26 right. Line up runway 26 right, Lufthansa 5, uniform Yankee. Traffic is still on runway. Lufthansa 2, Whiskey, Kreuzchen, Lufthansa 2, Charlie, Whiskey. Thrust line, climb, A thrust. Runway 26 left, clear to land. Runway 26 left, clear to land. Flap 0. Speed checked. Tower hello, Lufthansa. Flap 0. Alright, beautiful sunset. At least we're getting something for getting up that early. So, man, that looks lovely. That's the guy who went around. One two seven nine zero five five. Left under two Fox or Juliet. True. Set standard. Standard cross check passing level 6-3. Checked. Speed out star. So just gotta level it off here. And autopilot. So, 127. 9055, I believe it was. Yeah, there's someone talking in here. That's a good sign. Lufthansa 222 München Radar Hallo Identified, Cold Speed direct to Disney, Campus Flight Level 100. 
München der Low Luft, unser 2 Fox Juliet, Flight Level 70. Formation Hotel, die Fence, uh, Correction Cleared Lambda, 26 Transition. Or not. November 6, November Charlie, maintain speed 2200. Lufthansa 6, November Charlie, speed 2200. München der Low Luft, unser 6 Fox Rot Juliet, Correction 2 Fox Rot Juliet, Flight Level 70. Also 2 Fox Rot Juliet, München Radar Servus Identified, Climb by Asset to Flight Level 150. Climb by Asset, Flight Level 150, Lufthansa 2 Fox Rot Juliet. Cross Time Climb Out, Flight Level 150, Blue. Man! This is quite a demanding uh, flight today. So many things going into directions where they would ideally not go. And you get, for what that is, the, um, let's say, very friendly set version. But well, we finally made it out, so at least it is an interesting flight, I have to say that. It's not getting boring in here. So you said climb via SID, that means speed restriction 250 definitely applies. Altitude restriction obviously is not a problem, as we've already made that. A little cloud there. Yeah, we can see through that, we don't need anti-ice for this. We are on standby, indicating flight level 110, daily for Tango Bravo. I'm going to release the passengers for a moment here. I'll just stay in constraints. And then clear and copy, please. Okay. November 6, November Charlie, contact direct down, 118, Charlie, Approaching. Flight level 1, 9, 0. So, can turn those floodlights on slowly? But it's nice when the sun has almost set on the and all of a sudden it looks like the sun is rising again. That's really beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Really beautiful. In the real world though, I would not call that beautiful, I would call that darn it, I need something to put in here. Probably a checklist or something the likes. Just something that would block your... Uh, that would block the sun from shining directly into your eyes. Alt down. Lufthansa 2 Fox Rot Juliet, you cleared us to flight level 150, at least that is what we read back. Uh, say again the frequency. 2 Fox Juliet, sorry, I've done 134150. 134150, Lufthansa 2 Fox Rot Juliet, see ya. We land 75 Tango. We land radar, Lufthansa 5 Uniform Yankees, at flight level 70. Locked. Okay, 13415. Man, today is really one of those days. I gotta go back in the live stream and see what level he cleared us to, but I'm pretty sure it was 150. Oh well, we'll see. Radar, Low, Lufthansa 2 Fox, Roger Juliet, Flight Level 150. Lufthansa 2 Fox, Juliet, Mitchell, Low, Identified, Speed 250 knots for sequencing, Climb Level 180. Lufthansa 2 Fox, Juliet, Speed 250 and Climbing Flight Level 180. 
Okay, so speed 250, thrust line climb, alt, flight level 180 blue. Interesting, the thing went to thrust climb but didn't increase the climb thrust. That's definitely not how it's supposed to be. Probably a bug there. The plane just didn't add any thrust for the climb. That is, well... The engines did see uh, some remodeling here, so... Suggest there's probably something wrong with the engine model. Oh well, we are getting there, slowly but steadily. So, VS plus 1000, and we've got 1000 to go. So, then let's see what we got for the arrival. So, information Lima, expect ILS 25, transition level 70, wind down the runway at 9, slightly variable, clouds broken 2000, QNH 1007. Is what we have. And what we have on both sides. So let's just watch it fly the level off and then we'll start our preparation already. Mach. Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet, when ready, descent level 110 cross 10 miles prior taxi. Old star. Just be careful not to reset the um, altitude now. If you reset it now, it goes to vertical speed and just keeps climbing. Here we go. Mach alt cruise. And flight level 110 blue. Okay, taxi minus 10. Insert that and slash 110. The Yankee left turn like Here we go. Fox Juliet report your speed to Lang and one two five zero five zero chop. One two five zero five zero with the speed left on the two fox Juliet chop. Lang alo left on the two fox Juliet flight level one eight zero descending when ready level one one zero ten miles prior taxi speed two five zero. Two Fox Dodge Juliet, Langen Vader, hello, identified, expect LS25. Hi, LS25, Lufthansa, Two Fox Dodge Juliet. I shot 6 5 to right. Okay, finally. Descent level 7 0. Well, then let's continue. Hi, Langen Vader, good evening, Ether 0448, which we're descending to 50130. So we need this, we need this. So taxi one whiskey, where is it? And I'll tell you what, we'll take the chart for the taxi 25 transition straight away as well. And down here it is, taxi one whiskey. Okay, ILS approach to 5. And then we can start our descent already. Descent, Alt, Set, Manage, Speed. No, we don't do that. Here we go. Okay, so... Starting out in Taxi. And that is flight level 80 or higher. Waypoint 554 above 6000. Then we've got 553 above 5000, 552 above 5000, no, 512 above, 4500 at 210 knots, that looks about right, and that leads on to the ILS, starting at UNSA in 4000, which is what we have. Okay then, missed approach, straight at 4.2 Sierra Gulf Delta, so Foxtrot point is okay. Right and turn until radio 277 from Stuttgart and then 053 in Mount Luburg climbing 5000 and that is looking good. Perfect. So Sierra Tango Golf 
and Lima Bravo uniform. Okay, then Stuttgart 25 and 2570. Let's go 1007. Langen Hallo, the Eurowings to Lima Mike is passing altitude 4000 feet. And we've got the wind 2409, temperature 8. Like that, and the minimums 1381. Right, and we can definitely make that a config 3 landing using auto brakes low, as we basically just let the airplane roll to the end here and then vacate over there, depending on what ATC is going to give us. So passing level 150, passing mode's coming on. Okay then, Stuttgart 25, dry. We'll take the latest meter and apply that. Landing weight, 56 tons. Should be good. Let's just make it 56.3. Low auto brake, idle reverse, config 3, auto thrust off. Looking good. Okay then, in case of go around, what do we need? In other words, what's the MSA? Um, 4100. Actually, 3400 on the missed approach sector, so 35. It's gonna be good. Extra fuel, 15 minutes is awesome. Standby copy active, here we go. Okay. So we're a tiny bit above the profile. I'll just help it a bit, meeting the restriction. Okay then. Quick PA, then we do the briefing. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, aus dem Cockpit hier, Kapitän, wir haben den Sinkflug nach Stuttgart begonnen, Flugzeit nach etwa 10 Minuten. Wetter aktuell 8 Grad bei einer leichten Bevölkerung. Wir bedanken uns, dass Sie heute mit uns geflogen sind, wünschen Ihnen einen schönen Aufenthalt und gegebenenfalls eine gute und sichere Weiterreise. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, this is your captain speaking. We've started our descent and we've got a remaining flight time of 10 minutes. The weather currently 8 degrees and... Uh, the wind, uh, the weather currently 8 degrees, few clouds. Thank you for flying with us today, and we hope to see you again next time. Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet, clear taxi 25 transition. Mission. Blocked yard, sorry, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet, clear taxi 25 transition. Oh god, now we've got to rebuild the arrival. This is getting interesting. So, taxi 25. What do we have now? That's the star, isn't it? Okay. The transition should have overwritten the star, but... Then let's just do this. What is it doing with the flight plan now? Completely messed up. Okay, well... Heading... Taxi 25 is in there. No star, no transition. Well, let's just select something different, then reinsert it, see what we're going to get. Taxi 25, insert. Yeah, that is probably looking better. Okay, direct 2, taxi. Insert. So it was a good idea ultimately to prepare that chart. Okay, so, off we go to checking another set of waypoints. So, taxi above 100, waypoint 545 below level 90, and then 44, 43, 42. And that's basically what we have. And then the downward via 522, 525, 515. Again, that is what we have. And then 514, 13, 12, and unser. 655545. Going down like that, okay. And that is indeed what we have, the rest is unchanged. Lufthansa 2 Foxer Juliet, speed 220. 
Okay, speed is down. We're staying out of the clouds, so anti ice is not needed. Let's turn all those lights up. Because it does start getting a little dark down here. Okay then, so, are you ready for the briefing? Yes. Okay, MSA 3500, taxi 25 transition, ILS approach runway 25, go around trajectory straight at 4 miles, right turn out, and then on a radial inbound to the VOR. Um, climbing 5000, extra fuel and time, let's see, with the transition now 12 minutes. Okay, the approach will be guided by the ILS, localizer and glide slope modes, config 3 landing, stop margin is about 1000 meters. Idle reverse, auto brakes low, planned Romeo exit is the first rapid exit taxiway to the right hand side. And for the hotspot, uh, for the taxi we got one hotspot there on the way in, which is located just down here, hotspot 1. And that is intersecting and converging taxiway, strict adherence to taxiway center lines required during parallel operations. Okay, so you can see that a bit better on the star chart here. We'll probably come over Sierra. And then over here we got to be careful with the uh, taxi lines that we are going to turn on to, depending on how ATC is going to clear us. Okay, nothing st special, nothing not done now. Any uh, questions? No? Nope. Awesome. Maybe in terms of threats, there is a bit of terrain in the area, so I'm just going to go onto the uh, terrain display over here, since weather is basically not relevant for our flight. Delta Echo Jules, Papa Echo verstanden, sinken auf 5000. Papa Echo, ja, bitte einfach dann unter SS Delta. Wir gehen das eigentlich ohne Erlaubnis da nicht so einfach so rein. Oh, lovely, and the next pilot just entered controlled airspace without clearance. But the controller seemed a little bit... Shall we call it helpless here? Lubok with information Lima, reducing speed to 250. Oh well, we're eventually going to be there. Eventually. How many track miles? Six Charlie Mike, approximately five zero. Hot air action. On the six hundred seven, contact direct. One one nine, this is the eight five zero. Bye bye. One one nine, eight five zero. But at least a little bit of silence right now. Lufthansa Juliet, maintain present heading. Lufthansa Two, Fox Charlie Juliet, present heading. On the one six four, heading two flat to the eight zero. In other words, it's probably going to be even longer than this transition. What does the t class show here? Lufthansa 2 Foxtrot Juliet, descend 2 flight level 9 or 0. 2 Foxtrot Juliet, connect direct 119 at 0, bye bye. 119-850, Lufthansa 2 Foxtrot Juliet, bye. Uh, you're in state 76, passing the 3,000 to 200 feet, climbing 5,000. 160 knots until 4, uh, contract monitoring mark. Data 70, speed 180 knots, further left heading 070. 180 knots, uh, further left towards 07, uh, danger measure. Further left towards 0, 070, left heading 070. 070, Lufthansa 2, Foxtrot Juliet, 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 Left 280. Oh, a little lag there. This is 08, tower 118805. 118805, thank you for the service, tower and traffic 508. Director, hello, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet. 200, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet. Okay, activate approach phase. And managed. 1000 to go. So, GPS primary with a high accuracy, and that's it. Might need some anti-ice here in a moment. Oh well, yeah, yeah, doesn't matter, turn it on. We might clear this cloud, but hey, we don't pay for it, so we just use it. Speed, vertical speed. With that I want to avoid the airplane pitching down now, and just in order to pitch up again we're leveling off here. Might just add a bit of thrust now already, doesn't make much of a difference.
Okay, the sun is slowly vanishing behind the clouds. Getting dark now. But that means less VFR traffic and therefore more space for the IFR guys. So, trying to judge where all that traffic is. There's one here, one here, so... so I suppose he's probably going to turn us to the right in a few moments so that we end up behind this guy over here. Just, of course, on uh, left-hand downwind while he's on a right-hand downwind. Right heading 070, Lufthansa 2 Fox Juliet. What did I say? Here we go. Can you repeat the altitude? Hello, Emmanuel here. Thank you. Okay, we can take that brightness down again a bit. Contact 1 Charlie 8, Charlie Mike, could you sign the post speed now? Traffic proceeding is at dash 8, he's currently at uh, 900 ground speed. <laughs> oh wow! Dash 8 at 90 knots, wow. That thing usually has an approach speed of like 120 or something the like. Lufthansa 2 Fox or Juliet, descend 6000, QNH 1007. Set QNH. Contact 18 Charlie QNH 1007 Trust check passing 8800 now. Tower on one check. Frost out low and send out 6000 blue. Uh, Approach checklist please. Barrel reference. QNH 1007. Seatbelts on minimum. Barrel 1381. Auto Low. Engine start selector. Norm. Approach check is complete. Okay, extend the center line, please. Pull heading. And here we go. Looking good. So that guy over here is probably in front of us. Well, interesting question. If it's going to be us first or the guy on the left there. Could literally turn out both. We'll have to see, I suppose. Okay, ice not detected. Well, minus one, we definitely keep it on. And company message. Right in the approach. That's, that's where we like it. Operations, send ADC delay for nine minutes. Well, let's give him something real quick. Delay allocation card. Let's see. I tell you what, we blame it all on ATC startup delay. Not entirely true, but... Doesn't matter, does it? Okay, send that out. With all the traffic that's going on over here, I think we can say that. Left 280, left on the 2 Foxtrot Juliet. Speed all star. Another company message. ADC received. Perfect. Okay then. Halt. Condor 164, right heading 160. Right heading 160, Condor 164. Lufthansa 2 Fox Agility sent 5000 feet, clear the laser post runway 25, maintain 5000 to glide. Lufthansa 2 Fox Agility sent 5000, clear the LS25, we'll go. Okay. Vertical speed, alt 5000 blue. Let's make that 500 feet a minute. And he said clear the ILS. Lock blue. Okay. Automatics coming off. Uh, 
Tower, ready to check. Tower 6 minutes, Expander at 6 minutes 7, you're still with me, contact Tower, 118, 805. You're still with me in this case when the guy is on the wrong frequency. It's obviously not um, obviously not too helpful. Should say something like is you're still with approach contact tower something like that. Right and haha and maintain six thousand for the glide condor one six four. Direct down low, six thirty mic. Okay, so. At least we got to do a little bit of hand flying here in the end. Old star. Lufthansa 2 Fox Roger Juliet 200 until Unser, thereafter speed 175. That is damn fast. 200 to the final approach fix. The only reason I told him I would do it is because of the headwind. Without that headwind, I would have declined that immediately. Okay. Cat 1, Gleisler Blue. But normally, 200 knots till the final approach fix is very, very fast. Especially if the FAF is not even at um, 10 miles, but inside that. Blockstar. Lock. Flaps one. Speed checked. Glass lob star. During six thirty mics. Reduce volume clean. On six thirty mic minimum. Okay, Goron altitude five thousand set. There are four five reduce minimum clean report, please. Speed is a tiny bit below, but that's fine with me, honestly. The speeds, he, the speeds he gave were a little bit high anyway, so that's okay the way it is now. And what is it? Okay, but no slower, please. It is reducing a little bit better than I thought it would. Left heading 340. Left Lufthansa 2, Fox Fox, Juliet established. Thanks. Flaps 2, speed check. Lufthansa Juliet, Tower 118805, schön Abend. 118805, Lufthansa 2, Fox Fox, Juliet, danke ebenso. Level 7, Silber, wenn 2, 4, Silber, die Krise, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Tower low, Lufthansa 2, Fox Roger, Juliet, ILS 25170 knots. Lufthansa 2, Fox Roger, Juliet, Tower low, number 2, Fox Roger, Juliet, Click, click. Okay, 24089, we got that in. Shook it out, I'm getting sickness, an alpha. So it feels to me like they added a little bit of drag to the airplane with the update, didn't they? Okay, cannot see the runway lights yet, but I'm pretty sure I see the apron lights over there. Okay, guys lining up in front of us. Okay, gear down. Speed managed. Flaps 3. Landing checklist. Eka memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. 
power to the Man, they definitely added a lot of drag to the airplane. It flew so fine, why did they do that? Okay, not sure if we did the landing checklist. Well, landing checklist complete. Temperature 7, so we keep the anti-ice for now. Checked, and we're stable. And now the wind starts dropping, it seems. So, preceding traffic is airborne. From a 25 plate land, Lufthansa 2 Fox or Julia. Land. Tracked. Look at the mismatch between the glide stop and the puppy again. Continue. Come on. Okay. Well, here we are. Spoiler. Frostrose green. Diesel. Manual brakes. Übrigens für mein Hotel, wir haben Approach in Konda, Airbus 330 on final, line up at right, runway 25 behind. Übrigens für mein Hotel, wir haben uh, Landing in Konda, Airbus 330 on line up at right, 25 behind. Uh, correct, 25 behind. Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet, Taxi left on Sierra. Left on Sierra, Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet. So that's going to be the next left. Two five to the land, Condor 164. Man, that new handling logic kind of sucks. At least when things need to go quick. That's better. Okay, so now we just need... Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet, contact Ground Top, Bob 18605, tschüss. Bob 18605, Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet, tschüss. Well, I was just about to say we just need the end of, and here we go. Ground Hallo, Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet on Sierra. Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet, Stuttgart Ground, hello. Stand 4-3 via Sierra Lima 2 and Mike. 4-3 via Sierra Lima 2 and Mike, Lufthansa 2 Fox for Juliet. Okay, so that is quite an easy taxi routing. Straight right left. And the Airchild 658 is on block. Taxi service, schönen Abend noch. Ciao. Airchild 6508, danke fliegen. Okay, off landing checklist. Radar and predictive wind shear. Off, off landing checklist complete. Starting APU. Okay, then Lima 2 is next to the right. And then 
mic is going to be left at the top and 43 is just over here. Lovely. So it's, it's uh, two defined four, as a parking two, four, zone. Take you to holding point, runway two five. Yeah, by 43, by here it is. No follow me needed, handling by Leitanza. Okay then, APU avail, shut down two. And 43 is the next on the left side. So, lights off. It's rather dark here, isn't it? Oh boy, who activated that again? Thank you, GSX, for nothing. Ground, good evening, Condor 164 on Sierra. Whoopsie. Condor 164, Stuttgart Ground, hello. Taxi to stand 26 Alpha via Sierra Lima. Man, <laughs> this completely sucks up there. And so does the Marshall. But well, here we are, okay. Postman 6012, Stuttgart Ground. Capture, all doors in park. Uh, postman 6012, just for confirmation, you will still have your pushback limits, or? Yeah, we had a little... Okay, let's go silent over here. <sighs> Silence, I missed it. I really missed it. Alright, so... 20% Okay, parking checklist. Park and brake are trucks. That's the brake set. Engines off, wing light off, fuel pumps off. Park and checklist complete. And it's cold enough that we can definitely turn the APU off again. Okay, so IRS performance is good. Fuel is nicely balanced. A little bit more usage on the left side, which does make sense with our single engine taxi in and the APU usage on the left side and that is looking good. So we do have a company message, let's have a look into what that is. Arrival message on block 34 and you guys can commence the deboarding please. Alright then, we made it! It just took a little while and I honestly have to say this was one of the harder flights, um, just so many noobs this evening. So many times ATC had to repeat things twice, thrice, then uh, I do have to go back in the stream and see for the level bust if I messed that up or if ATC indeed gave me a different clearance. I could swear I heard him say level 150 and likewise I could swear I read back level 150 but if I messed that up then uh, well. In any case, I do have to write a report about that because obviously um, level busts in any case are reportable instances regardless of um, whether it's our mistake or the controller's mistake or whatever went wrong. So level busts are report uh, reportable instances. And uh, well, apart from that, if we do talk about the A320 update then, well, my first impression is that they added a lot of drag to the airplane, so it really slowed down very, very well. I would uh, really not have expected that, especially not for an A320. Um, they do say the thing is slippery, and in my opinion it was much, much better on the previous version. But, uh, well, that's just my, my impression. I mean, it might always just come down to the headwind contributing to it, since we did have like a 25 knot headwind on the final, which does help slowing the airplane down considerably, of course. Well, and anyway, my overall impression then, the engines did seem to work rather fine. 
which uh, were a major part of the update. And apart from that, well, I can still say that the Phoenix is a lot of fun to fly. And with that, I'm going to start making my way back towards uh, Munich now, in order to go back to home, back to bed. But, well, overall, a typical standby day, I would say. A typical day where they just call you up for about anything, and then you're like, well... And you're having the day of your life, if you know what I mean. Alright then, so, that is gonna be it then. Why are they not lit up? No questions asked. So, that's it, my friends. I do hope you enjoyed this flight. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like in YouTube as well, as it does really help out the channel. I'm looking forward to your feedback, as always. And if you're up for more, don't forget to subscribe. Finally, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. And until then, I see you all again right on the next one.